Oh, I got it. Thor. Guess what it is, Thor? <gasps> Stephen's home. Oh, look, you got so excited, he peed all over the place. Oh. How are you? He peed all over himself. <laughs> Oh, I can't turn it sideways. It doesn't work that way. How are you peeing? Dude, he hasn't seen you in a month and a half. He's going to tackle you. Come here, son. Aw, he missed you. Aw. <laughs> April.
U.S. Navy Commander Steve Murdoch has been deployed for the last year in South Africa and decided to surprise his son Riley during his Michigan High School graduation ceremony. Just following you. <laughs> so proud of you, buddy. I was just basically staring straight forward at the guy who's giving out diplomas. And I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? Oh my God. <laughs> The touching moment was Steve's idea, and WDIV was there behind the scenes before the big moment. Pretty excited, a little nervous. It's uh, hard uh, peeking through the curtain there and seeing him sing and hearing his voice and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. The Navy dad emailed the Romeo High School principal beforehand to set it all up, and only two people knew about the surprise leading up to the day. We're sure traveling 30 hours for that surprise was worth it. And it's a moment that Riley and his dad will never forget. Don't forget to watch Inside Edition. What's up, Bailey? She's got about 46 days left on her. Uh, I wonder about I didn't know how long she'd had. I knew she hadn't got it this year. So, uh, You know, sometimes we've got some issues in Final Cut. We want probably want to check two or three clips. All right. so, okay. Yeah, let's get some more. Yeah. That's a good computer. Hey! Oh! First time that Maureen has seen his mother in four months. 
He's not in Times Square. <laughs> For one Randall High School senior, this evening's graduation was more than just a ceremony. It was an unexpected family reunion. News Channel 10's Shannon Smith is live at the studio with more on how this plan was put into action. Reese Cryer hadn't seen his older brother Travis Fannin since September when he was deployed to Kuwait with the U.S. Marine Corps. So you can imagine how surprised he was to see Fannin standing on the stage at Randall High's graduation holding his diploma. Our next graduate is being presented his diploma by his brother, Lance Corporal Travis Fannin of the Marine Corps of 2000. Fannin found out Wednesday morning that he'd been granted leave to come see his little brother graduate from Randall High School. The boy's mom reached out to Randall High's principal to see if the school could make the day special for the brothers. Of course, I mean, why not? I mean, let's, let's do this and let's do it right. So graduation's already pretty special. But to have your brother come in from Kuwait and give you your diploma, you know, that's just going to blow it off the top. I mean, it's going to be pretty cool. Williams snuck Fannin on stage during the ceremony, and the whole time, Cryer had no idea what was planned for him. I like, I like surprising people. It brings just a smile to their face, and everyone's happy. I hope he doesn't cry. But he's, he's a strong boy. Yeah, he'll do good. Fannin did not get his wish. His little brother cried, and the reunion was emotional and exciting for the whole family. Cryer ran to hug his brother as the audience cheered. He says he was shocked, surprised, and so happy to see Fannin after all this time. Glad to be home with my brother. That's all I can say. Congratulations, little brother. Thank you. Congratulations to Reese and the entire class of 2016, and thank you, Lance Corporal, for your service. Reporting live in the studio, Shannon Smith, New